ask you a question. What would have happened if we used different music for that sequence? I don't mean classical. Or country. That's obvious. But what if we chose a different suspenseful song? Something like this. Or this. Those are both suspenseful type songs, but they're different from our original song. They had a different pace, a different beat, a different rhythm, a different feel, something that you just really can't explain. When this clip demands a very specific fusion of music, you can almost hear the song as you watch the clip, and then it's just a matter of finding that perfect song. In my opinion, music is the most important element that helps drive your video. Music is the universal language that breaks through all language barriers, no matter where you're from or what language you speak, and you can communicate with each other through the emotion of music. When I'm picking my music, I spend a lot of time searching for it. In fact, I was actually looking for that song before I even started to script. And as soon as I heard it, I knew that was the one that I wanted. Music should not be driving your video. It should be like assisting or helping the story along. Not like an afterthought, like, okay, I shot my video, now I'm gonna go look for the music for it. No, on the contrary. It's better to start thinking about what music you're gonna use before you even start to script. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go find a spot where I feel like somebody's not chasing me. A poorly chosen song will either lose your audience or you won't retain them throughout the video. So it's important to pick the right music so that you can retain your audience. It shouldn't be like background music. It should be high and mighty, something that can dance with the video. Like if the music and the video were in a ballroom, they would be dancing in perfect symmetry. In my opinion, the hallmark of a good video is a video that makes the viewer feel like they just lose track of time, almost as if they're entering into the story of the video and before they know it, it's over. Another hallmark of a good chosen video is when you're editing it and you feel like your blood is pumping and you're getting the chills and you're just grooving with it. That to me is the confirmation that you have chosen the right song. These principles I've learned don't just apply to cool cinematic videos. They apply to promo videos. I had a really cool job on Capitol Hill working as a staffer and then as a GS for the federal government. Social shorts. Okay, so we just finished your home inspection. It took about an hour, which is pretty common. Drone videos. and any works that drive a story. Think about the last good movie that you've seen. And I bet you the next time that you watch it, you're really gonna pay attention to the music. And you're gonna realize how important it is to have the music match the energy of the video. That's why it's so important to make sure you're getting the right music for your videos. There have been literal hours that I've spent searching for that perfect song for whatever video I'm creating until the point where I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna go to bed, I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and have a fresh start. And I'm telling you this because so many times I see other YouTube creators or other video creators using the wrong music for their video. I know it's a bit subjective, but there's a certain point in time where the energy of the music has to match the video. And when you're searching for music, the best thing that you can do is find a site that has a lot of good, quality music. Not a site that has a lot of music and a few gold nuggets in there, but a site that has a lot of quality music. Something that's not like super expensive either, say like 10 bucks a month. And that brings us to the sponsor of this video, Artlist. This video is being created to drive you to Artlist because every single song in their music bank sounds like it could be on the radio. and also for the amount of time that you will save searching for that perfect song. Every song on this video so far has been from Artlist and you can see how much I use it, not only for client work, but for pretty much every project that I do. 
I have spent wasted hours searching for the perfect music for my projects on other sites until I signed up for our list back in 2020. And ever since then, I can quickly find some really good quality music that perfectly fits my video. I'll leave a link in the description for those of you who are serious about implementing a game changer into your videos. Like I said, right now they have a personal plan, which is 10 bucks a month, which is unbelievable for the amount of value that you get. This is a plan that is tailored to social media creators and it unlocks their entire library of music and sound effects to one user. Your license lasts forever for all published projects during your subscription period. Let me show you some examples of why I'm telling you to seriously contemplate which music you're using in your videos. If it's a slow video, then the video requires slow music. Hi, I'm making this little video for my kids and grandkids and great grandkids. If it's moody, then dramatic music. If it's a heartfelt video, then it requires heartfelt music and not just any heartfelt music, music that moves you. This high school we made a video for had something special about it. And I didn't want to portray the high school in just some bland, basic standard background music. I wanted something super special. So after hours of searching on other sites and not being able to find that perfect song, I signed up for Artlist and found that gem that I was looking for. If you're bored while you're editing, then you're just not using the right music. Once you find the right music, you will know it's the right music because you will feel the blood pumping through your veins as you edit. You'll feel like you're almost dancing with the edit and it's just gonna take a life of its own. Here's some footage that I got with the ZVE-10 a few months back and judging by what I see others put on YouTube, this is probably something that you would hear over this video. But here is how I think the sequence should really feel and sound. When you look and listen to both versions, one of those just sounds generic and not that captivating. But then the other one seems to have that woe factor, like that, where is this place? The very music we choose in our videos is the foundation for our videos. And like I said, you can break through all language barriers, no matter where you're from or what language you speak. If you use the right music, you can move people with emotion. When it comes to choosing music, I choose Artlist all day long because their bank is huge, they have quality music, their website is clean and easy to use, it's easy to navigate. I've also never had a copyright issue with Artlist, which is huge because that's the last thing that you wanna deal with when you've done all this work and you're about to post your video or send your video off to a client and then they upload it to YouTube and bam, they get that copyright strike. Haven't had that happen yet with Artlist, so that's huge. From me to you, consider using Artlist for your next video project because I know I will be. I'm Joe with Film Alliance and until the next video, peace. I wanna ask you a question. What would have happened if we chose a different suspenseful song for that? <sighs> a poorly... spent looking for music, whether it was for a YouTube video or for client work, 